Welcome to a new series on my channel. Um, this is a series about game programming. And I wanted to do an, an introduction episode on what this series will be about, what you can expect to see in this series, the types of episodes I'll be doing. And yeah, in general, just do a, a, a pre-episode to, uh, to explain what I want to do with this, with this series. So the first thing you should know is that this series will be, as the name implies, solely on game programming. And more specifically, it will be about game programming in Rust. So what, it me what this means is that as I'm building a game, uh, an open source game called Rusty Rockets, I like to, uh, to share that experience with, with all of you. But it also means that I, in order to make progress, I need to work on the actual problems that I, that I need to solve. So um, the game programming series will be about working on working towards solutions that help me in developing the Rusty Rockets game. The second thing you should know is that I'm still learning how to do game development. Um, I'm not a game de developer by trade. I've only picked it up about six months ago and not even as serious as I'm doing it right now. So I still have a lot to learn. And at the same time, I also only picked up Rust about uh, seven or eight months ago and I'll, I still have a lot to learn there as well. So both for game programming and for Rust programming, there are things that I still need to learn. I will stumble along the way. I will make mistakes. Um, some episodes will end in success. Other episodes will end in failure. That's totally fine. That's the way it goes. That's the way all of you probably experience uh, programming in general. And so I want to share that experience with all of you. As long as I can see a steady growth in in um, in the things that will deliver, the, the, the quality of the software that we're writing, um, and the, the, the amount of bugs, a reduction in the amount of bugs that we're introducing, I'm happy with, with that result. Um, so expect a lot of episodes where things don't go as well as I'd like them to go. Um, but yeah, that's part of programming. So I want to lay it out in, in the open as I do it. The third point is um, because programming is hard and it takes a long time for certain things to be developed, um, this will obviously become uh, a series where I'll do multiple episodes on each subject. This means that there will be uh, subjects that just take way too long to, to do in, in an hour or so. And I want to keep the episodes about roughly an hour long. And so I'll try to find natural cutoff points in during the development where we'll stop one episode and later uh, start again in, in, in another episode. Um, so, so yeah, so, uh, I guess just expect multiple episodes and nothing else to it. The fourth point is about the types of episodes that I want to do. First of all, I want to do uh, implementation focus episodes. What this means is, as I mentioned, I want to develop this game Rusty Rockets while I'm recording myself doing it. And so I need to focus on the actual problems that I need to solve in this game. And so the implementation focus episodes will be about me solving a problem for the game that I'm building. Now there are, a lot of problems that need to be solved. And there are many topics that I'll cover. Uh, just to name a few, um, I will start off with the game loop. So this will again be a multiple episode subject and I will start building from a simple game loop to a more advanced game loop um, that satisfies the needs that I have for, for the game. I will probably iterate on this loop as we go on. Uh, maybe I will get back to it in, in future episodes and do another couple of episodes on it as we learn more or as the specifications change of the requirements. Um, but we'll start with a couple of episodes on the game loop. Another obviously very important aspect of uh, a game is player input. So we'll also do a, a couple of episodes on that. Um, along with that, um, an entity component system, uh, ECS for short, is something that I'm uh, very interested in and I want to explore this further. So we'll be uh, developing an ECS library in Rust um, to, to support the, the requirements that, that we have for the Rusty Rockets game. Rendering, obviously another important uh, subject, uh, which will come uh, as a couple of episodes. Uh, it won't be at the start because this is something that I have never done before. So I will do, I'll do need to do some reading on where to start, uh, but it's definitely something that we'll, that we'll cover along, uh, along the line. Um, and finally, networking. Uh, again, a very important topic, especially if you obviously if you want to create a multiplayer game, which Rusty Rockets will be. So networking is also one of the implementation focused episodes that we'll be doing. There are many more topics that I didn't list here. We'll get to them as this 
series goes on, but these are the ones that I thought of that we'll probably want to start with. Another topic that I want to cover or, or uh, concept is, the, is uh, higher level concepts. So this is not specifically a specific problem that I need to solve in, in the game. This is more about ways of working, ways of thinking, how you approach problems um, as we cover the more implementation focused episodes. Now, I'm not quite sure how we'll be recording these. I don't particularly like doing some kind of slideshow and, and talking about these concepts. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I'll try to incorporate them in actually solving problems. Um, we'll see how it goes, but a couple of these concepts are obviously testing is something that I'm very interested in. I'd like to be heavily focused on testing the game as I'm developing it. Uh, this involves unit testing, uh, but also higher level integration testing. Um, something else that's also related to the ECS implementation is data-oriented design, basically meaning from the start we focus on how can we make our data design as performant as possible. How can we make sure that in a year time, when we look back at the performance of the game that we have now, there is there are some fundamental flaws. Uh, how can we prevent there being some fundamental flaws that prevent us from having a high-performing game? Uh, and uh, a big part of this is data-oriented design. So we'll be focusing on that as well. Another one is debugging. Um, I'd like, um, I'm a big fan of the red-green cycle, uh, a fast red-green cycle where you implement something, uh, you, you, run, uh, you, you run your code, or actually you implement a test, you write a test, you run your code, and then uh, it fails. You implement the code that's required for the test to pass, etc., etc. Um, but at the same time, you also need uh, a fast debugging flow where you can just quickly jump into your game, check something out, make sure that some values are correct. And for this, you probably need some higher level um, editor or overlay in your game where you can actually inspect some things. So this is something that I'm very interested in. This is obviously uh, a long way off before we get to it, but it's definitely something that I'm interested in. And finally, domain modeling is also something that I want to cover where um, we try to create these um, these domains within the game that are well encapsulated and can live on their own. It makes it easier to test, it makes it easier to, easier to debug, it makes it easier to reuse certain components. So this is something that we will be getting into as well. Now, another thing I wanted to mention is that these episodes, as all of the episodes that I've been doing so far, will be unscripted, there will be little preparation, um, and they will be pre-recorded. So I, I like this way of working. Um, I don't particularly like preparing a video in advance and scripting it all the way and me just reading from a script. Um, obviously, I do need some preparations in terms of, as I'm doing right now, reading books about game programming, about Rust programming, watching videos, uh, tutorials, just in general, getting to know the concepts that I'm working with. But I won't be actually, for example, spiking an implementation uh, before recording and then redoing that spike during a recording. That's not something that I particularly like. So again, this also means that I'll be uh, hitting a lot of roadblocks as we go. Uh, but as I mentioned, it's part of the game. So I think it should be part of the recording. Uh, the episodes will be pre-recorded. This is something that I'm, uh, I think uh, fits well for the time being. But the final point that I wanted to cover is that eventually I, I think it would be nice if we can start doing some live coding. And so this means just, I don't know, on Twitch or on YouTube, the live, live streaming what I'm doing. Uh, an active chat where you all can hang out and help me out and point my errors, uh, the errors in my ways and I'm doing s certain things. Um, and eventually it would be really cool if the community grows that we, where we can actually do some kind of pair programming where two of us uh, record a video uh, live on screen. We both have an editor open. Uh, we do some kind of, um, um, I don't know how we'll do it, but we'll do some kind of uh, um, over the internet pair programming and we'll record that and at the same time we'll have a chat for others to join as well. This is further down the line. First we'll have to get to the first episode, first 10 episodes, probably the first 50 episodes before we'll get to this last point. But I really like to work towards that point while working on, on the, the, uh, the types of episodes that I just mentioned. So yeah, so I hope you'll enjoy being along for the ride. Um, expect a lot of learnings for myself, for you hopefully. Uh, expect a lot of progress for the game. There will be a lot of other things that we'll still need to do for the game in terms of uh, design, both graphically, but also in terms of <clears throat> game design, like how is the game going to work, how it's going to function. Um, there are I've I've already started the open source contribution series that I'm that I'm continuing. Um, I will be doing episodes about 
about uh, community management, open source in general, stuff like that. But all of those will be on uh, separate series. This will be purely about game programming and specifically game programming in Rust. And so that's what we're going to do in the first episode. We'll start with the game loop and we'll go from there. I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.